If you have questions about going solar, there's an opportunity coming up for you to have all of your questions answered. Sponsoring today's segment is Midwest Renewable Energy Association. And joining me now is Sustainability and Resilience Officer, Scott Tess. Scott, welcome. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Tell me a little bit about your role and what you do within the city of Urbana. Yeah, so I, I touch on everything that has to do with energy, water, waste, recycling, but I spend a lot of time on renewable energy development, both for city facilities, but also our programming for the public homes and businesses. And it seems like more and more solar businesses and companies are popping up and you're being encouraged to, to learn more and invest in going solar. So uh, that's where you all come in to kind of help people navigate that whole process. Let's kind of get into quickly what the difference between solar and geothermal is. Yeah, we have programs for both. Uh, we do bulk purchase programs, Solar Urbana Champagne and Geothermal Urbana Champagne are our two programs. Uh, solar, solar energy produces electricity for your home or business um, without dirty fossil fuels, so clean renewable energy. Geothermal heating and cooling systems produce all the heat, all the cool. So replace the furnace, replace the air conditioner for any home or business. You guys have got an example here of yeah. a solar panel. So this is kind of like the little mini version of what people um, would would have mm -hmm. on their either home, their roof, or in their yard. Mm -hmm. What is the advantage of going solar over geothermal? Or are um, they kind of basically the same, created the same? They actually work really well together. Now, oh, so you would do both? Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. So depending on your circumstances of your home or business, you might do one now and another in a few years. Uh, but but the, the solar is going to push electricity into your house, so you're buying less electricity from the grid. That's nice. You essentially have your own power plant on your roof. The geothermal is using electricity instead of uh, gas, um, methane gas for heating and cooling, and it's doing so more efficiently than traditional furnaces and air conditioners. So actually your solar powers your geo as well as everything <laughs> oh, else in your house. Okay, very good. I, I feel like we talk a lot about solar anymore these mm -hmm. days, N not as much geo geothermal. So mm -hmm. it is very interesting to learn here. We've actually got some statistics here on some of the benefits of geothermal. I did not realize um, just how, I mean, economic, economically friendly it could be with lowering our heating costs, cooling costs, and only a two to seven year payback. Yeah, that depending on doesn't the seem very long. Depending on the circumstances, um, commercial and residential are different. Commercial gets, uh, you know, more more uh, asset depreciation tax credits um, than 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 residential. But uh, you know, sites are very specific. And uh, the best thing to do is attend one of our power hours. Yes, let's talk about that because this is a great opportunity for people to come and learn about the advantages and maybe learn about getting it yeah. on, on their home. One of the most important parts of our bulk purchase programs is the solar power hours and the geothermal power hours. It's a one hour educational event. We teach people everything they need to know about these systems and also how to be a savvy purchaser of these systems. So when they leave our power hours, they understand they could use our selected vendor or get other quotes, but they're gonna be able to read those proposals, understand what they're reading and make a good decision for their home or business. Are you able to get better deals? So part of our program that happens behind the scenes before the first power hour happens, we competitively select a single installer for each program. We put them, put them on bulk and declining block pricing. Declining block pricing means the more people who sign up for an installation within our program period, the lower the price goes oh, for everybody. Okay. Those are predetermined declining blocks. So the installer is incentivized to uh, help promote our program. They want more volume. Our participants are incentivized to go tell their friends and neighbors, hey, I did this, you should do it too, because if we yeah. hit those print price benchmarks, everybody saves. Everybody wins, right? We looked at the screen at some of the upcoming power hours that you have. There's also a Zoom option, but mm -hmm. very cool stuff. Thank you mm -hmm. for coming. Absolutely, thanks for All right, me. if you wanna learn more about solar or Urbana Champagne, we'll connect you at staliving.tv on all of the power hours coming up, and we sure do appreciate Midwest Renewable Energy Association for sponsoring our segment today.